Hi Gemini, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Gemini, this is what are their true intentions in love. This is all about you and your person. Yeah, it is. And uh, this is a love reading for Gemini, uh, Sun, Moon, and Rising, both, or, or all of the, the above. So this is a general. It may or may not resonate, but please, uh, please feel free to switch around the energies, right? So if I'm saying it's you, maybe it's them. So let's get right into the reading, you guys, without further ado. And from the Enchanted Map Oracle is Peaks of Joy and Home. I feel like you are, uh, the, this Peaks of Joy, you could be really happy sometimes, right? Like noticeably happy. And maybe other times it, it's not, you know, you could be maybe not as thrilled. It's, it's going to depend. This is all about your home life, though. That is clear, right? Next to the home card. And let's see what we have for... Let's see what we have for Gemini from the Little Vampires. We have newness, energy, and vitality. Wow. I feel like eternal youth, your relationship maybe has uh, some kind of added happiness here. Yeah, I feel like yeah, that's looking good, all right? Because I feel like in the past, Gemini, some of your readings are they're a little bit, uh, they've been a little bit, uh, what's the word, like uh, challenging, I should say. Okay, yeah. And let's see. And in the recent past, oh, we got to get a charm. Yes, we do. We got to get a charm because we're so charming over here at Power and Light. You know, you guys, right? And so are you, Gemini. <laughs> uh, let's see what we have. And for Gemini, yeah. And this is the fairy. Okay, this is the fairy, and she's carrying something. She's carrying a heart. Okay, we well, love somebody. Yes, you do. And let's look at your person's charm. Let's see what we have. Let's see your person's charm. And love. Love again. So I pulled this twice today. It's just a little circle with the heart on it. On the back of it, it says love. Uh, wow. This, I feel like this is kind of cool so far. Uh, so let's see what we have. In the recent past, Gemini, you had the five of swords. Ouch. Let's see. Crossing you, or currently, you have the eight of swords. <laughs> okay. And... Uh, not matching up with these charms so far, but let's see. In the block is the death card. I feel like you're ending something that you don't want to end, maybe. Ace of Pentacles is what you wanted. And the Page of Cups is what you are doubting or fearing. Your person's past energy was a Nine of Swords. They were suspicious about you. And I feel like they were. The full card is their current energy. They could be taking a leap of faith on something new. They could. But they could be with these cards next to each other, uh, uh, Gemini. Your person could be suspicious. You're going to take a leap of faith. We always have to look at the adjacent cards, right? You can't just, it's just the kind of the way it is, right? And in the block for them is the world card. The block for you is a death card. Wow. This peaks of joy, this peaks of joy could be saying, you know, you could have some new, new vitality, definitely, or new energy, but this peaks of joy could be saying that sometimes you're super happy, but sometimes you are, you know, not up in the ethers and not up like flying high like this angel. I shouldn't really say the ethers, but she's way up there, right? But I'm just saying that sometimes you could be really flying high, like really happy. And other times, maybe a little bit lower. Yeah, I feel like that's the case. Let's see what we have with these cards. Yeah. And the Three of Wands is what they desire or they hope for. Mm -hmm. And their doubt is the Hermit so or their fear. Your person could be literally fearing a Virgo. Yeah, fearing a Virgo. Yeah. Okay, we have Scorpio in the reading, the Death card. The World card is Scorpio too. And the Fool is... Aries, but it doesn't have to be any of these folks, but your person could be really fearing uh, the hermit. They, maybe they are an Aries in their current energy, but let's have a look here, okay? So in the recent past, I feel like they had suspicions about you. Uh, they could have been really sad about you or had a lot of anxiety about you about some third party. This Nine of Swords in the reverse, it can be you know, it can be that, right? They could have been like kind of uh, really kind of grieving you or not grieving, but yeah, really, yeah, worried, anxiety in the past. Currently, they could maybe have some suspicions, but I feel like in the past there was either suspicions or anxiety from your person. 
and in the past. Currently, they're in the eight, you're in the Eight of Swords energy. I beg your pardon. About It could be about uh, a new beginning you want, like an adventure you want with somebody. That's how it looks so far. We could switch it. Maybe it's your person, but so far it looks like you are the one who feels really stuck, like I can't have my new adventure. And what's blocking you is the death card. This is, I feel like it's an ending. You either have to end it with somebody else to have what you want, or somebody's ending it with you, and you're not too happy about it. But you do want the Ace of Pentacles, which is right next to the death card. So you might have to end it here to have this new beginning with somebody. Or somebody has to end it with their person, maybe, for you to uh, have this. Wow. So your desire is the Ace of Pentacles, and theirs is the Three of Wands. They want, really want to work on things with you, it looks like. And you look like you are the person who wants a new beginning, like maybe a new adventure. Like, maybe not with them. Maybe it is with them. We're going to find out. Because both of these are, are kind of nice here. But you could be the one who's having a wish, and they're the one who's in love with you. Like, your person, but maybe your wish is somebody else. We're going to find out. Yeah, we are. Stay tuned. Right? Remember the, on TV a long time ago? Uh, they would just, like, you know, the episode would end. And uh, uh, stay tuned next week, a continuation. You're like, I want to know now, all right? <laughs> Right? I remember that. And then next Friday, you'd be sitting there in front of the TV waiting for the continuation. Yeah. <laughs> so let's look at your past energy here. All right. The sun card with the five of swords. You guys don't remember that, right? Yeah. You weren't born in the, uh, the mechanical age, the industrial age. <laughs> okay, you guys. The page of cups. Let's look over here, though, before we kind of, before we start with your recently past, with your recent, with your past energy Gemini, I, I, I left this out, okay? Well, kind of. But in your, in your fears or doubts, you're afraid you're not going to have a love offer from somebody. Page of Cups. And in their fear, they could be fearing a Virgo. I did say that. Or they could be doubting here. In, let's see. I really want to know if this is about you and somebody else that you are wishing for. It looks here that you, you could be wishing for somebody and that your person you're with now really loves you. That's how the reading looks. Okay? So let's go back here to the recent past for you, where you were in the Five of Swords energy, Gemini. You could have sabotaged, uh, you could have, you know, did some uh, sabotage here. It's a possibility, maybe to be happy, right? Maybe you, you could be here. These cards are, you know, maybe to be happy with the Sun card. There could have been a Leo here. It's a possibility. This is just could be third party energy, and I feel like it is, but. This Five of Swords could be, maybe you are in despair, but this man is not really in despair. No, he's not. Uh, but it can create despair, the Five of Swords. This is why this is kind of the other uh, option or, you know, alternative meaning maybe. Let's see what else we have. The Hangman's in the reverse. Could be Pisces here. I feel like you were in some type of a third party and there was some type of kind of sabotage here, maybe defeat, maybe to your person that you're with now, possibly. Uh, maybe to be happy and you don't want to sacrifice anything. I feel like maybe you don't want to sacrifice anything. Maybe you wanted to, like, just say the, to hell with it. I don't want to sacrifice my, like, like, I'm not willing to sacrifice. Like, I want to go be with this person I really want. Like, I don't care what's going on right now at home. Maybe maybe you have a family with this person, the home card. Let's get another card. Yeah, why is that hangman there in the reverse? You could have felt really stuck here. Because you wanted, maybe you wanted clarity here, but I feel like you, there's somebody here who made you happy. That's what I'm looking, how I'm looking at it, two of swords. Yeah, you did feel really stuck in the past. I feel like it is about clarity too. Yeah, I do. With this two of swords, right? This is like, I don't know what to do. The two of swords lady never has any clarity, right? She's wearing a bandage, uh, not a bandage. She's wearing a blindfold. How could she have clarity? Right? And the moon is in the back, which makes things even kind of 
murkier. Mm -hmm. And her hands are tied. I feel like they are. Oh no, she's just holding the swords. But this person doesn't know what to do. And they feel stuck. Sometimes when they do know what to do, they feel really stuck. Like, like you know, just kind of stuck. Kind of blocked. Internally blocked, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Like, well, I might have this option, but uh, I feel kind of shitty about it. Yeah, like I don't... These options aren't really working for me, right? And in the past, I feel like you felt like that. I feel like you thought you weren't going to have some happiness in the past. I feel like that's the case. I feel like what it is, too, is that in the recent past, you were unclear, like you were at a stalemate here about whether or not you were willing to sacrifice your union to be happy. Sun card, hangman, reverse. Reversed. I feel like that's the case. Eight of Swords is your current energy. Let's see, for a Gemini. Hope I didn't call you another name, Gemini. <laughs> kind of famous for that. Knight of Pentacles. You want, I feel like you want a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And it could be a Virgo. Right here is in your person's fear is the Hermit card. I feel like you feel stuck. Look at these. Eight of Swords, Two of Swords is kind of, it's kind of uh, similar energy. But with the Eight of Swords, there's fear. Right now you have some fear that you can't release yourself from maybe wanting somebody. Yeah. Right? Knight of Pentacles. Because in your desire is the Ace of Pentacles. This is what you want. You're like, I want that. I want that long-term solid union with this person. Yeah, I can't blame you. It's a beautiful farm here. And shoot, I'd live on a farm with somebody if... Uh, you know, if I thought they were really going to be really not good to me and nice to me and I was really in love with them, why not? Let's get a card on the death card. Let's see here. This is the block for you. You feel like it's over with somebody, but you want a new beginning. Or you have to leave this other person out who's in fear about the hermit. And maybe they are not in fear just about a hermit. I mean, in this reading, it could be, right? The Virgo with the Knight of Pentacles. But in another reading, it could be, or not in another reading, uh, on another level, it could be this Piscean, this Leo, mm -hmm. Scorpio, Aries, Page of Pentacles reversed. Wow, this card's come, coming up a lot today. Mm -hmm. The block for you, you want a new beginning, you want a new start with somebody, Page of Pentacles. That's what it, that's what it is. You see value, and I feel like you see value in another place, not at home. I feel like sometimes you are flying high and really happy at home, but there's somebody else here who really has your heart, and that's what it is. All right? So let's see what we have, you guys, and let's see what you want. Why do you want the Ace of Pentacles? <laughs> is that kind of a silly question? Everybody wants that. The Tower. Wow. You want a brand new beginning, and you want an ending. I feel like you're in the tower, too. I feel like you are. You're in the tower, like, oh, shit, what do I do? I really want this other person. I'm home here with, you know, my husband or my boyfriend. Yeah, and let's see. The King of Cups. Wow, this could be saying that this person is, your person could be fearing a hermit, a Virgo. Literally, I, could, I said they could be fearing anybody. But they could be this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And here's the hangman. Mm -hmm. Pisces. It doesn't have to be a Pisces, though, because I'm saying this. For some of you guys, it could be. I'm saying this because this is a reading about sacrifice. Like, you're kind of between a rock and a hard place. Do I sacrifice my union at home? Right? Or do I not make a sacrifice for that union? That depends how you look at it, right? I just, I, I don't look at it the same way as other people. I say, uh, willing to make a sacrifice, like, to hold on. I don't say I'm going to sacrifice it, but people talk like that. When you say you're going to sacrifice something, it means you're going to let it go. I feel like that's what this is about, though. Like, both. For you, it's both. Like, I, I you know, I'm not sure if I want to sacrifice, sacrifice, excuse me, let my... 
let it go. Let my union go to be with this possibly an earth sign, but let it to go, let it go to be with somebody, or do I sacrifice that union, the person I really want for my home life? That's what this reading is about. Page of Cups is, I feel like you could want an ending with a water sign. You want an ending with somebody, and you want a new beginning too, Ace of Pentacles. And the world card is blocking your person. I feel like they know that. This is an ending and a new beginning. OMG, guys. Right? Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Okay. Page of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. This is your doubt. You see, you're doubting you're going to have this. You're all in your head about it. The, seven, the sevens are all about thinking here. Thinking, analyzing, reflecting, assessing, evaluating. This is you in your doubt. You're doubting you're going to have this. This Page of Cups, this offer of love. You're doubting you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. You could be fearing losing money when we see the Seven of Pentacles showing up in the doubts and fears. Right? Yeah, we always think about money, right? If we, we have to a little, we have to, I mean, on some level, right? Especially if you are at home with this person. In other words, you share a home with them. You could be thinking about financial, the financial situation. People just don't get up and leave. Well, you know, they just don't do that, right? When there is, uh, like, financial stability to be considered or financial instability, however you want to look at it, all right? Nine of Swords in the reverse for your person. And this is them in the recent past. The Ten of Pentacles. They had a lot of suspicions in the past about their union. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. And let's see. Currently they have. Currently they have the Two of Pentacles. Here they are. Again, once again, thinking here. Once again, thinking that you're going to take a, a leap of faith on somebody else. Full card, Two of Pentacles. Doesn't really matter which way. They think you're going to leave. Mm-hmm. Love how these readings are all real clear. I must be improving. Wow, right? I feel like if you make a, you know, if you make a lemon cake a hundred times, uh, it's going to come out, it's going to get better and better, right? <laughs> Temperance, this is their fear. I mean, not their fear, their block. Temperance and the world card. Not really sure why temperance shows up in your readings a lot, Gemini. Maybe your person is Sagittarius. But the block for them is an ending and a new beginning. And maybe a healing and finding balance with you. It could be, yeah. Temperance is that. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like that's what this is. I feel like your person, what's blocking them is an ending. They think you want to end it with them. And uh, they feel like their, uh, their harmony, their balance is being blocked by an ending or taken away because of a Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Or they are the Queen of Pentacles. But remember, they are fearing the, Vir the Virgo card. They're fearing the Hermit, right? So let's turn on the light, maybe. Let's see what we have. Uh, you guys can see those cards, right? I feel like you can. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, put this down a tiny bit so you guys can see these cards a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Because if it's not, if the camera's not on my face, I at least want you guys to see the cards clearly. People will complain, right? Mm -hmm. The human condition is to complain, right? <laughs> so let's see what we got, you guys. I'm all about being human over here. Yeah. And let's see, in their desire, they want the three of wands. That's what they want, right? This is usually manifesting, like, working together. Like, like with you, most likely, in a group, this is what they want. Like, moving forward, they could be, you know... Possibly, like, wanting their ships to come in with you. Like, yeah, I want things to work out with my Gemini. I love Gemini. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords. Wow. <laughs> I feel like they want you to turn your back on this other person and end it. I feel like that's what they want. Let's get another card. Yeah, because they know you're, you're, you're just about ready. Okay, I don't really talk like that, but it's like, it's kind of like maybe needed here. About ready. <laughs> Okay, they know you're about to let them go, kind of. But I don't think you're. I don't think you're quite there. No, you're not. But you do want somebody else, and your person knows. And remember, as I always say in my readings, I'm not. Uh, they could be intuitive, especially if they're a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, right? That could be even in their chart. But your person could be super intuitive. They know exactly what's going on here. 
Maybe you had uh, problems with them in the past for, about the same person. Or maybe they had problems with you, rather, to be kind of, you know, a little bit more uh, per, uh, maybe precise judgment. Wow. <laughs> I feel like your person uh, wants you to end this situation because they know you want a second chance with somebody here. Uh, judgment. I feel like this, maybe they want a rebirth with you too. This is uh, a card, eternal youth, a card of newness and vitality. A card, not a car. See, another card here, Six of Cups. I feel like they want you to end it with somebody from your past who could be a Virgo. OMG, and the Hermit is what they're fearing. Let's see, this is a good reading. I mean, it's interesting. Why is that? Uh, Geminis are always interesting, yeah. Let's see what we got. And the Four of Swords. So this is what they are fearing. Yeah, they're afraid you're going to heal it here. I feel like this is, they're all in their head. And they are all in their head here. They could be fearing you're going to recover the situation with this other person, right? Like heal it with them. The star card in the reverse, they're fearing that they can't heal it with you, maybe. I feel like they're fear, fearing that you're going to heal it with the other person. Yeah. I feel like that's it. Mm -hmm. I feel like your person is lacking hope and inspiration. The, 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 uh, the star card in the reverse. So we're going to find out all about your person, Gemini, and I want to know myself. We're going to talk about how they feel about you. And the, the major block between you, or kind of like the common block, yeah. And uh, what they could be hiding or what you don't know about them, okay? Yeah, what they could be hiding from you, what they're fearing, and also their true intentions. And we're going to see what, el what else has been swept underneath the carpet, yeah, with the underlying energies, or what may have been, right? Thank you so much. They're all super affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And you can click on the link and go directly to my website. No more emails and, you know, all this and Vimeo and all this other. Thank you so much, you guys.